Look at your neck biting out. I'll bet some. Easy. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just. I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Oh man, I can eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola. Oh, yuck, I hate granola. Prince? This will open the nurse's station. Should be what I let her die, man. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are going to find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yep. We'll come meet you. Copy that. I really hope they're going to be okay. Do you think that whatever's left in the nurse's office is going to cut it? Caitlin knows what she's doing. Does she? I, I mean, she wasn't even supposed to be working at the nurse's office this summer. She only filled in because some other girl didn't show up. It's better than nothing. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Yeah. I can't, I do want this guy to going? die. Kind I, of. I, I, I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. I think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. We don't know that. No, it's true. Caitlin said. So all I'm saying is that we are not professionals, okay? We don't know. We He could have rabies or something. Way to be optimistic, man. I'm just being realistic. He's you uh... call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. Ambulance, buddy. Well, do you need to specifically ask for an ambulance, or can you just say, help, help? So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And I'll say, help, help, my friends may have been attacked by bears, but maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And then one of them was kidnapped by these hunter guys with blood on their faces, and there may have been shots fired, but not by us, but also maybe by us. And... They cut my friend Jacob down from a tree. Separate incident. Long story. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong? Dead. Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. You try the hang-up thingy. What? Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay, well, you know, how do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. Exactly. Let's go. Guys so living in the third world. Go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? 
Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably rig something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let, let, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. Uh, no. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Doesn't even have shots, right? Okay. Uh, it's, it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Maybe, Very. Maybe it was the bears. Very optimistic. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's go. And okay, now I kind of want him to live. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. Ooh, um... Yes. Well, maybe we should just leave her with your gun. I'm a much better shot than you. You don't know that, okay? I might be an amazing shot. I might be. Just give her your gun. <sighs> okay, that was a good. We'll give her the gun. Uh, all right. You're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. <laughs> <laughs> Am I interrupted something? Totally. Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. Mm-hmm. Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. <sighs> A time again, is it? Strength. Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into it, tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all. And with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. It's one of those monsters, the uh, Mr. As H. Always, there's more to see. And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? Yes, I saw your previous one and I still did it anyway. Infected. So it's goodbye again. Not the Aussie boy. With this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. I kind of wish I didn't save the chick. If I could save Aussie man. Chapter 5.
Hey, I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh, shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. That was... Fuck, I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'll be okay. Thanks to you. No, no, I, I just helped a little. It was all Caitlin and Ryan. You're here with me. That helps. All right, they're off to find a radio or something. What's with the, um, the... Oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so just in case. Oh, what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? Shooting good. Okay. Ready? Okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. Did anybody else hear that? Shh. I thought you said Dylan and Ryan already left. Right, stay here. I'll check it out. We don't know what's out there. It could be dangerous. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna check it out. <sighs> Alright, the one with the best shot. Caitlin now. Do not want to let her die, no matter what. Boss man. I don't know if I should have had it or not. This guy seems chill. Bad decision. No sign of him. When you find him, run him. And keep me posted, Bobby. No, had it. I know what he means by blood, it means a good thing. A good thing. Shoot him. This guy's. Ooh. 
Oh. That's been ruthless. Oh, we chill. Chill, we chill. Hey, so this may not be like the best time per se, but like. What? Yeah, so like I was just, you know, thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and started camp and well, like now that summer's over and, you know, is that like the last time we're gonna see each other, you know? Oh, I'm sorry, Nick, what, what are you saying? I'm confident. We'll be confident. Hey, don't worry about Caitlin. She's tough. I know. I'm sorry, Nick. I'm just distracted. Let's just get through the night, okay? Intrigued. Not bitter. Maybe I was misreading the situation back there, but... I kind of felt like a little bit more was going to happen. Well, did you want a little bit more to happen? Duh, are you dumb? Hey. Sorry. I just mean, of course I wanted it to happen. I just didn't know if you did too. That seems like such a long time ago now. You did want it to happen though. Uh, um, I... You can tell me. Yeah, I, I guess. Huh. Just saying that because I'm hurt. Nick. Has he been a dick? What is going on out there, Caitlin? We have died. We have died. That's okay. I've got this. Oh my god. What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. No, we'll run. I got you, girlie. We saw this. <coughs> it's not too bad. Oh yeah, yeah, it used to be more of a actual radio station actually. Um, uh, it, you know, I mean, it, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird actually that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD player and everything. And, you know, nowadays everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Technology, it giveth and it taketh. So is is that something like that you want to go into? Camp radio? No, like uh, DJing or music, something. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, I like music, but I think I want to major in um, mm. quantum physics. Wait, what? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, you know, not not here. Um... What's that supposed to mean, dude? I'm 
I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home, and then here I. Um, You're a wise, wise cracking smartass. <laughs> Uh, that's a little harsh, but... Uh, no? Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation, and I overcompensated a little bit by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé villain. Uh, and do, do you enjoy the blasé villain? <laughs> Not yeah, like you know, whatever, man. It's pretty cool. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. Well, actually, I'm. Let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, I like him. He's that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Which one's the radio house? We just did the lodges. Like it's not this place, right? Oh, must be that over there. Off we go. A devil, eh? Can we like walk faster? Yeah. All good? Yeah. All good. All good? Close the door. Lock the door. Oh, this place is kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC. Okay, okay. okay. Let me get this set up. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, that's Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever so I think the range is about a mile how do you, know, this how do you stuff? even know all this stuff uh, I just kind of picked it up hmm. the tech technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on well if you like I could show you the ropes like a class yeah, it's easy. Like, climbing. Sign me up, teach. Anyways, this thing's gonna need a bit of a power-up. Um, but that's where this comes in. That's my... It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but... It's worth giving a shot. So... You can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two-way radio, so, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is 
switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, w uh we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. And there's been a horrible accident, attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere. And there's these hunters, too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good. And a few of our friends are hurt, and um, we are in desperate need of help. So please, I mean, there's vicious bears, and uh, we don't know what to do, so please... Uh, come help us, SOS. Uh, this is uh, an emergency. S save our ship. Come on down, please help us. Yeah, I do good. Was that swarm of bears? Yeah. Herd of bears. Yeah, I've heard of bears. What? Oh my god. All right. I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we um, get anything yeah. back. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay, yeah, sure. It may... He's gonna see something, right? There we go. Back up. Wait, did he did he say lodge? I don't know. Huh? Two males in the radio shack near the cabins. Another couple unaccounted for. Copy that. Um, now. That's totally us. Holy shit! They're talking about us. How? Because we just. Hold them! On the fucking radio! Fuck! They know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Hey, hey, Shit. Let's, let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's, let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay. Good things to have. Yeah, no, get back in, buddy. Yeah, yeah. You better be apologetic about it. I wasn't sure, man. Fuck, what the fuck was that? I have no idea. Stay where you are. Uh, Ryan? Is it a bear? There's no need to shoot him. What was that? What is that? Don't shoot. Fuck. What? Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can um, tell them to hide or something. Hurry up, boy. Uh, the... uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, in, get, uh, just get into a cabin now. Go! Go! Yes. Good man. Oh, fuck, dude. They're gone.
what now? Is there anything we can do? I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just an animal, right? I mean, maybe we can scare it off? Uh... Well, it, yeah, I mean, if it, if it has hearing like a dog, maybe, it, we, we can play like a, like a really high-pitched feedback loop and just blast it, and, and I mean, it would hurt like hell, but, you know. Why not? Okay. Let me see if it works. Okay, come on, Dylan. Let's do this. Um... Almost. Calm down, buddy. Hey, Dylan, just take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. Okay, yeah, right. There's something missing. I... What's missing? Fix it. I'll cover you. Do it now. Go quickly. Shoot the damn. Just shoot. We're cutting this thing off. Let's let's go. Let's chainsaw it, buddy. <laughs> Yummy. Sure. Yes, fucking do it. Fucking do it. Achievement unlock just a flesh wound. The wire, get the wire, get the wire. What? Get the wire. The thing, get it. On it. Plug it, plug it into the thing. Uh, keep pressure on. Uh. What's the bit he's gonna live? What do I do? What do I do? The button, the button. Oh, it did work. Oh, we blew the speaker. It did the trick. Uh, nice work, Dylan. <laughs> oh, right. oh, fuck, my hand. Right, right. Okay. Uh, just hold on. Why did you do that? You told me to. Oh, it was a bad idea. No, it wasn't. It was a great idea. Is it safe? I think we're okay for now. We ran into one of those hunter guys. Ah, oh, crap. Chase us out of the lodge. I think we lost him on the way up here. You get a message out? I think so. Great. No one's gonna mention. What the hell is going on? At... There we go. Oh my god! Tell him what happened. Oh, um, I'm okay. I, I, I mean, I'm not. Um, but it's it doesn't doesn't hurt. Okay, you're in shock. Holy fucking shit! Uh, Did that thing do this? No. Well, sort of. Caitlin, where's your gun? 
I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. What the fuck? Did she shoot at us? Who's there? Hey, it's the chick. Who was she? Should we follow her? <sighs> this is like even the prologue, bro. Dylan, what is that? <gasps> oh my god! <gasps> it must transform. It's gonna show in the moon, right? It shows the moon, it's got something to do with the moon. Moon in the sky. Those two have been infected, they're gonna turn into what? If you kill them, they go back to human? Maybe? Something like that? Back. Looks like that's one less vermin in the world. Let's take a look once more. The devil. Without restrictions, like a shadow torn from one's corporeal form. Pay close attention and act before the demons unleashed. Each of us have one. Even those who are pure of heart and say their prayers by night. I want to show you more. Would that be all right? Yes. I actually paid attention to that one. We spend so much time looking toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets too. Worth remembering that. So it's goodbye again. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. Um. So he starts transforming and rips off his girlfriend's head? Emma! Jesus Christ. Jesus! Fuck! Oh, man. God, this thing sucks ass. Jacob. I should just let this guy die Emma, so he doesn't you? have to freak out that his missus is dead. Um. Oh, he's gonna find her bloody body, dude. I don't know exactly where I am. Yeesh. I'm gonna fall off this. What's the bit I'm gonna fall off this? Well, that bodes ill.
We're gonna find her completely munched up. This is gonna be interesting. Just the same. Oh, am I not weird? Oh, okay. I'm somewhere else. Oh, of course I'm somewhere else. <laughs> Even in a boat, right? Where the hell is she? Back and then have more bread. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Was close. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh. 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 This guy's stupid. I'm definitely not pulling. That's a stupid idea. Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. Passion. Should we do something? What can we do? She's dead. No, I mean, with the body. <sighs> That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. Kaylee. Yeah. I thought so too. Oh, that's interesting. Oh man. Poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell so good. Hmm. 
You all right there, bud? Maybe dial it back a bit, huh? Fuck off, Caitlin. Whoa. Nick, what are you... I want to taste you. Hey! Come here, huh? Ugh, Nick, what the hell? Ugh, get off! Ugh, but watch out! I said get off! Help them. I got him. What did I do? I I don't know. He's so cold. Okay, let's get him in the pool house. Dry him off. <laughs> Yeah, so he's definitely like converting. Just try to rest. I'm sorry. Ah! Quit moving so much. It's pretty clean from what I could tell. I mean, it's not bleeding, but you need to see a doctor. This is all I've got left from the nurse's station. Ooh, fun. You better hope uh, we find you some real help before they wear off. We need to be keeping a record of everything that happens for the police. Yeah, dead girl in the pool needs some explaining, huh? <sighs> Easy, man. I mean, like photos, whatever we can. I've got a funny feeling that the cops are not going to want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on. If you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. You okay over there, Abby? Reasonable. Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? All right. Look at that, his reflections. What can we find? Interesting angle. Have an interesting angle. There you go, that's what I wanted. I knew that was gonna happen. The moon. This was so different like 12 hours ago. Mm. The mess of shower rooms. I wonder where Caleb is. So that's the dead chick. Toilet, another toilet, literally nothing. Here, that better? Thanks. Hey.
Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like a... He was like a fish out of water. Right? Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too, at the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit or scratched or whatever. He just kept moving around, like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Mm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. <sighs> I think Abby would beg to differ. Point. Hey, isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Abby? Yeah? Can I ask you something? Of course. Like me. Calm, calm. Nick. Please, just tell me. I've really enjoyed spending time with you this summer. That's such a. Oh, such a. Such. What? It's, True Australians coming through. I've got something to ask you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Why don't you like me, Abby? Nick, I do like you. No, no you don't. You don't like me at all, do you? What do you mean? Tell me the truth. I am telling you the truth. Smart, are you? Poor stupid Abby. Stop. Easy pickings. Oh, right off the bone. This isn't you. I mean, this this isn't you. I <gasps> Whoa. Whoa, Abby. Abby, everything okay? Holy shit. Do I want her to die? <laughs> Wait, where'd they get the gun? You didn't do anything? No. <gasps> what shooting would have stopped it? 